you, when Coach Fish came up with this, uh, I guess, offensive package for you, this option offense, how, what were your initial thoughts on it? You, you didn't run a whole lot of options in high school, right? Right, so it, it was kind of new, but I loved it, man. Going in and practice, uh, running the option, it was, it was just fun. And, you know, it, it shows on the field, it's, it's an explosive package for us. Uh, it'll help us down the road. Steven, good to get back on the field again. Yeah, um, I, I love being out there with the guys. No matter what my role is or what my job is, to uh, hand the ball off or, or throw it deep, you know, uh, I, I love being out there with the guys. And, and just every time I get a chance, uh, I run out there. So it, it, was a, it was fun. The first time you were going in there, I saw kind of Ja'Cory come up to you, I mean, pat you on the shoulder or whatever. Is it is it help that you know that he thinks of you as like a little brother and he supports you behind everything that you do? Yeah, for sure. Um, he's definitely my bigger brother. Um, throughout all the competition stuff, me and him kept it real 100%. And uh, every day in practice when we switch on the offense, uh, we always do the same thing. We always we always uh, pass shoulders before we go in. And, you know, it just shows that he, he truly is like a bigger brother to me. And, and, you know, I love and respect him a lot. Did you really have a crack life? I, I wasn't watching him. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess if he said he did, but you know how Ja'Cory is. So he, he likes to exaggerate once in a while. Steven, what do you think of uh, the overall, the way Ja'Cory's played this year? And, taking care of the ball the last few games today, too. Right. Uh, this is the best season I think he ever had. Um, he's doing such a tremendous job leading the team and, and leading the offense that, you know, it just shows you a good a good year of coaching and the ability that we have on offense that can really uh, make this offense go. And he's, he's doing an unbelievable job. His touchdown interception ratio is, is out of this world. He's, I mean, I just look up to him. He's, he's doing everything right uh, in terms of film study, in terms of leadership. I mean, everything that he could possibly do, he, he's doing to the best of his ability. Steven, what, is, what does Coach Fish mean to you and Ja'Cory, just the way you guys have performed this year and played this year and developed? Right. Um, I think that Coach Fish has, has really uh, changed the way how me and Ja'Cory are as quarterbacks. Um, we both respect Coach Fish 100%, and, and we look up to him a lot. And he knows the game of football. He, you know, like I said before, changed the game for us. Um, he's making Ja'Cory a superstar. And he's doing a great job with Ja'Cory. You know, it's just exciting for next year that our offense will won't have to learn the offense. We'll just keep on going from where we were. And to have that opportunity is a, is a humbling opportunity. Steve, is that your first experience as a photographer? Uh, no, because my mom, she owns a PR. So I actually you know, took a couple of photos before, but holding the camera, that was pretty cool. How does that differ from being in the pocket? It's a lot calmer. Yeah. A lot of people aren't moving around and people aren't trying to kill you, so <laughs> I, I think I'll take that you know, after my career. Is there a future there? Uh, I don't know, you might be pushing it, but we'll get there one day. Steve, Steven, uh, Florida State, did you play that game last year? Oh, no, yeah. Did you, your memories of that game? I remember that they came in here and uh, they beat us, and you know that just makes it one important week for us. And, and we knew this game was on the schedule, but we had to take a game at a time. So. We know that now we got Florida State this week, so the um, focus on our team is unbelievable. We were just talking about it in the locker room with Coach Gilder, so we know what, what um, team they are. They're a great team, great coach, and so it's just a great opportunity to go up there and you know do the same thing they did to us last year. Did you see the, the Thursday night against Boston College? Did you uh, watch? Not really, because I was home and we were just chilling with my roommates and we were just uh, having fun, so I didn't really even watch the game. Do you know any of the kids on the team? I know a couple of them from uh, St. Thomas, and uh, that, that's really about it. Travis Benjamin, by any dinner tonight? Oh, he's about to be dinner, breakfast, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that would have been my first touchdown. I was running downfield, and me and B. Walsh were just like, Steve, what's going on? Steve, what's your favorite part of the game? Uh, probably the end of the third quarter. Yeah. Uh, Steve, you said that you were going to take a little bit of a break from the game. Why did you do that? Uh, I just wanted to get away from the pressure of the game. Uh, I just wanted to get away from the pressure of the game. Um, my time's coming. I'm not frustrated at all. Um, matter of fact, I was just talking to Jacoby, me and him are, are like best friends, and, and I want the best for him, and he's having a, a tremendous season. So I, I'm, I'm just so happy for him, and I know next will be my time, and I'm not rushing anything or pushing anything. Uh, whatever Coach Fish puts me in the game plan, you know, I'm down to do it. I'm, I'm ready to do whatever he wants me to do. So, you know, that's how my look is towards this season, and next season we'll, we'll go from there. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, dude.